Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. You ever wonder what's in one of these expensive H-E double hockey sticks? Snap on, made in the USNA, dead blow hammers. <laughs> you ever been in a Turkish prison? You get on one of those snap on vans, uh, colloquially known as the rape wagon. This is a robbery. Take all my money. <laughs> in the words of the contemporary poet Robert Plant, Life gives you a lemonade, you gotta squeeze them lemons till the juice runs down your leg. Crunchy. Come on, you piece of shit. Huh. A clue. Tiny little focus, you fuck. Balls. A proper foculated my blade. Ugh, look at the teeth on that one. Hey, <laughs> probably can't tell this joke anymore, but oh, what the hey, it's just us girls here. What do you call a African American prostitute with braces? A black and decker pecker wrecker. Still getting good mileage. I think we're into the abrasive portion of the saw blade now. And every plug nickel out of her. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. She gone. Now, 15 minutes ago, well, I was having coffee, but prior to that, if you would have asked me what I thunk the little balls in there were, I would have said lead or possibly tungsten. Nay, by the patina, a rusty patina, and the fact that they're well affected by a magnet, they're little steel balls. You could make this a hell of a lot heavier if you used, as I said, tungsten or lead. Hmm. I can't complain over much. She gave to me good usage for nigh on two decades, as the Duclaw told me after he run her over. Ladies like a little bend at the top. <laughs> he had to rebuild it. Unfortunately, as you saw there, come apart like a fart in a windstorm. I do not think I'll be buying another one of these, despite it being a fap off and impressing the ladies' auxiliary. Although, what goes on in that little van, <laughs> once the door is closed, stays in that little van. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. <laughs>